Okay, and we're back with more Blade Runner. So here we are outside of Runsitters. He was that rather disgusting man you saw in the opening screenshot who looked a lot like uh, Tyrell from the film. And uh, he is a bit of a jerk trying to get the sexual favors from young Lucy, who, if I remember correctly, is only like a teenager, which is creepy. So maybe he deserved what he got. So let's see. Take a look at what we got here. Oh, let's uh, go over the uh, interface. It's really simple. You click somewhere to go to it. You double click to run to it. Dubber. I'm going to double click. Double click. Double click. You right click to pull your weapon. And then click to shoot. Although there's no one really to shoot. Uh, let's see. Click something to pick it up. The green spinny means there's something to look at. The blue bobby means there's somewhere to go. You can click yourself to bring up your menu. Clues, suspects, and investigate the clues. Pretty neat, right? Really simple. As of now, there's not really anything going on. Let's go into options because we need to change something right here. These are the different ways you can respond to people. You can always be polite, normal, erratic, or my favorite, surly. Let's be surly. But actually, as far as gameplay goes, you want to be user's choice. Because what that does is it provides you with a menu of different options you can choose um, when you talk to people. Isn't that nice? So let's resume the game. Let's go look at this here. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. <laughs> but I didn't tag it. <laughs> oh, he's such a smart aleck a-hole. Nah, it's horse chrome. You douche. Alright, let's see... Let's talk to the cop. Well, actually, wait. Let's go over here. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Oh, I think uh, McCoy's job before being a detective might have been a stand-up commodian. Let's go tuck the door. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe. Human and rep. Got some prints on there. Now, we don't want to go in there yet. There's still a few things we can do out here. Let's, uh, let's talk to the police officer. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. Good, he should be. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. All right. Got anything else? Find to say? anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Yeah, nobody truly does until it's gone. Let's head over here. And we're going to ask that cop to interrogate the locals. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. All right, while he does that, let's head inside Runsters. Now, if you click here on the car, you'll go to an area map and be able to head all around town. But we don't want to do that yet because we want to get into Runsters. So let's go take a look. Hello. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Now this fellow floating around is that uh, Runciter fellow. Now you can actually see, um, obviously the graphics are pretty low res, that's just a, a product of its time. I mean, that's what you were dealing with at this time, my but you can... precious one. <laughs> she was my baby. You ever heard of karma? This is probably karma for being an insufferable douche. I'm just saying, buddy. You can see the streak marks where somebody was dragging their feet, and the giant freaking footprints of somebody else. My precious one. Let's see, what's she this? She was my baby. Right here. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat Ooh, weaponry. It's like a shotgun Ballistics shell. might give me a fix on it. Nice. Now what you're gonna do um, in this game, it's not really a, one of those combine items type of games where you're gonna like combine a, a rubber band and a horseshoe and create some sort of hook mechanism to save yourself. And a, no, it's not like that. You're a detective, so you're gonna gather information, 
you're going to head back to headquarters, input it into the computer, and that's going to determine I how far you move along in the game. Totally you? Stop your whining! I'm sure you've got insurance. Anyway, so that's what you're going to do. So you're going to find yourselves on these scenes, trying to track down as much information All as you can. Animals. So let's talk to this uh, jerk. Come here. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this what heinous an ass. act. She's the young girl Just who works Just throw her under me. the bus. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. Ooh. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely <laughs> malevolent. <laughs> He's such a jerk. Got anything else to say, champ? Uh, let's talk about Lucy. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with oh, pink hair. Oh, you creepy a very old attractive young bastard. Thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. What a she got dude. a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Hey, come back here. Man. I had to make you eat a bullet, creep. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? <laughs> Obviously, he thinks very little of the replicants. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. You resemble Officer, that accusation. Last what? May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Berseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Ooh. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Yeah. You know what you do look like. You look like you need to uh, feed off of poor little 14-year-old girls, you freak. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyens worth. Mm. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. I really don't like Runciter at all. I believe this is the disc from last night. I oh, thank Peachy. you. Peachy. Peachy. Groovy. Is there anything else See you if you can say? dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Oh, another reference. Good, good, good. And and this is kind of how the game goes. You interview people, you look for clues, and uh, you try and solve the case. Here you are. Oh, thank you. Is that all you have to say? Stick around. I may not yeah. be finished with you. Yeah, don't leave town, you daffy bastard. Meh. All right, let's go up and... I think I got everything. Yeah, let's go up and check out Lucy's workspace. Shut up. Well, there's obviously some things sticking up. Uh, monkeys! Well, isn't that cute? Well, isn't that cute? I can't take the poster. I want to take the poster! All right, what do we got here? Hmm, a toy dog. Hmm. And what's over here? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Hmm. A candy bar. Well, that candy bar looks Yuck. familiar. Yuck. Candy. Blah. Well, isn't that cute? You don't want to do anything with... You don't want to... Shoot the monkeys! No. Well, isn't that cute? All right, cute? that's enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. Let's go see if he's got anything left to say. Stick around. I may not yeah, be finished with she. you. Okay, guess not. Uh, let's take a look and make sure we can see. Uh, now you can start to see how things start to fill in. All right. Now, if you click something you've picked Howie up. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. Yeah. I'd eaten there myself. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It's actually the restaurant from the movie. You'll get a picture of it. I already checked for a crowbar or some kind of tool. No luck. 
but it looks like we've got some latents. You get the piece of information from uh, said clue. So that's right now our only case is the animal murder. Now it'll also link clues to the suspects. As you can see, I've got Lucy and then the two unknown suspects. Again, suspects, Lucy. What do we got here? Uh, these are all different types of clues, again. So that's kind of how you do it. You have clues, suspects, cases. Most of the information is repeated on these screens. It just kind of helps you to uh, narrow down what you're looking for. And also, the other thing that's neat is as you go back to headquarters and input your information into the computer, you will be... <laughs> you will get information out of the computer from other Blade Runners who are doing cases uh, parallel to yours. And so you'll have information from them that might link into your case. You never know. So let's do a little saving. All right. Act one. LP two. Good. All right, it's time to leave. We'll see what that cop has dug up from the... Uh... It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Mm hmm. wonder why they would want vengeance on a animal seller. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Big fat guy, huh? Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Well, Find well. anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract all right. art. All yes. over the walls, walls and ceilings. ceilings. I know. Okay, well let's head into our spinner. And head back to, uh, to base. I've got to input this information. Okay, here's your map. You've got police station. I believe this is Chinatown. Runsitters, where we are right now. And this is our apartment. We'll go there later. So let's head back to headquarters. I am... Uh, <laughs> you see, folks, we live in 2011, and we do not have flying cars. And that makes me very angry. Something I don't understand... We seem to have everything else these movies kind of pointed at, you know, like tablets and MP3 players and things like that. But we don't have flying cars. Why? I'm tired of getting stuck in traffic. Okay, we've got the roof where we are. Laboratory. Laboratory. We definitely want to go here. Laboratory. There's a conversation that will disappear if we don't. Mainframe and shooting range. That's where we want to go. Ground floor. Mm -hmm. That's where we can check in with our boss. Lock up. And lock up. We'll go to that later. There's not really anything we need right away. Mainframe and shooting range. Let's go there. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's see, here you have the training simulator runs. As you can see, I am at zero. Now, here is some BS. Deckard at 10. I don't think so! Deckard's the man. You know he'd be up there. And Steel, really? She's at the top? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Holden's at 35. We all know Deckard was at least better than Holden, for crying out loud. Uh, let's see, somebody was smoking here. I wonder who that might have been. Who did we see smoking cigarettes Lucky earlier? Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. Yep. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Crystal. Steel. Isn't that... Crystal Steel sounds like a... Like, I, mean, I gotta be honest, it sounds like an adult film star name. Like a, like. People don't really get named Crystal Steel, do they? Alright, let's see. Here we go. This is the mainframe. We've got two important things here. We've got... The repository, where you can put all your uh, clues. And the Esper machine. And I will show both of these to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And as always, be excellent to each other.